Hello everyone, Leanna here. I hope you're having a good day or good night or good evening, wherever you are. Whatever time it is, wherever you're at. I hope you're having a good one. Um, today's video is going to be on water bottles and water, which I have right there. Um, the water filter that I use is the Zero Water. You see that? It's the Zero Water. And it comes with this great little tester here that can test your water and tell you how many particles you got floating around in it. Um, it also tells you when to change your filter and you can also test your tap water right out of the tap to tell you how many particles is floating around in it. Now I was going to do this to demonstrate how it works but my battery's dead in this, in my tester, so I have to get a new one. But, I mean, you guys get the gist of it. But I think it's a really good product. And the filter so far, it's it lasts forever. I mean, it's really well worth it. Um, the filters cost about... This is a guess, because I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought one. I think it was $14. 14-something, $14 so probably with taxes and everything else, about 15 16 bucks you'll be looking at. But it's well worth it because it takes out all the particles after I filtered the water, I tested it, it was at zero. So that means there's no floating particles or I'm assuming it takes out, well not assuming it does, it takes out the extra calcium and things like that that, buddy, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, sorry, my dog is just past gas. <laughs> I land boo. Yuck. Anyways, it takes out the calcium and all that stuff that's not good for your piggies. Because piggies are prone to get stones. Bladder stones. And so far from what I've read, um, especially boar pigs are more likely to get stones than your sows. So you want to make sure to do everything you can to uh, prevent them from getting any extra calcium that they don't need in their diet or in their water. So filtering is a very good idea. Now, moving on to water bottles. I have <clears throat> pretty much all the same water bottles. They're Living World brand. They're pretty much the cheapest ones you can get. They're nothing fancy. But a lot of people are complaining that their water bottles are leaking. Now, I haven't had a problem with these ones leaking. Um, a lot of people like the glass water bottles. I tried them. I love the concept of glass because you're not getting the, the chemicals and all that that's in the plastic. But the only thing that happened with me with the glass ones is after so many times of using them, like turning the, what do you call that? I have a brain freeze the spout, turning the spout on the the grooves inside, the ridges, would wear out and the back of the glass ones are flat so it has to lean up against your cage like that otherwise it's not going to stay up properly and when you're spinning it on the only way it's tight is like this facing the wrong way it's not good. I could have it like that but it would wind up leaking so bad it wasn't even funny and they're quite expensive so I mean after I thought well okay maybe I'm just screwing it on too tight and I'm ruining the threads so I tried again and got another one and was very you know wasn't screwing it on tight just as soon as I felt a little bit of pressure that was it but it still did the same thing so I just gave up on the glass ones and went back to the cheaper version okay so now I'm just going to show you with the tap water of what I think is happening with a lot of people in their water bottles, why they're leaking. I think what's happening, let me just put some water in this first. Now I filled that up to about here. Is you're not filling them up all the way. I'm just filling them up so far. And Let's see what we can see. Can, oh, yeah, put it in focus. 
can see there's already a little drip there. See how bad it's dripping? That's because the water bottle wasn't filled completely. Now the same water bottle, fill it. And when I say fill it, I mean fill it right up so that it's level right across the top. You put your water bottle spout on, make sure it's good and tight. Put your finger on the end of the spout, tip it up, give it a little shake so that the bubbles move all the way up. This creates a vacuum seal in your water bottle. And then you just remove your finger. And as you can see, there is no dripping, none. Still none. So that's what I think a lot of people are doing wrong. Not only that, if you take these out, see the little rubber inside, the rubber sealant? If you take them out to clean them, if you take these out, the rubber ring, to clean it, and you don't get it back in the same way it was taken out, same size down, and, oh, no, I can't get it, as flat as you can get it to the bottom, Take something, make sure you push it all the way down and around so it's completely sealed back properly and tight. Then it won't leak. But if it's left up a bit, like a corner of it's not pushed down properly, it's going to leak like a sieve on you. So there's just a couple of little tips that hopefully will help some of you out with your water bottles and maybe save some of you some some money in the future because that's always nice and if you do this and you still are having a leaky water bottle we'll throw it out <laughs> because it does happen you do get some that just will not stop leaving no matter what you do or how you do it so you just throw it out and move on and try another brand but I don't seem to have a problem doing it this way so I hope it works for you guys and that's my little tip and please like and subscribe if you haven't already and give me a little thumbs up down below please so that we can get this video out there and have a great day night evening whatever it is wherever you are thanks for watching see you next time bye